you ever stared at a skyscraper and wondered what went into making it? Here are four things I learned from talking to an NYC architectural engineer and construction expert. You're watching iHeart STEM. Today we'll tackle one STEM topic I learned from experts. Just four key questions with each answer under one minute or less. Okay, four steps, here we go. The first step starts with an idea. So this is where you're gonna do something called a napkin sketch. So think very basic sketch. What are you thinking about doing with the space? The next step is where you're not gonna go into full on drawings, but you're gonna get a little bit more into how you wanna use the space. So where are you gonna to start to put certain things like a bathroom or maybe a store? The third step is where the real change happens. And this is where you really get to put those architecture and math skills to work because this is where you're gonna to start to map out and actually do a real drawing or a formal drawing. What is gonna be a certain size? How big is a certain room gonna be? And then the last step is where you get to bring in all the material. So what are you gonna use? How much are you gonna use? And where are you gonna use it? I did it! This was the craziest part of the interview for me. Coordination is the hardest part about building a skyscraper, and here's why. In any given building, you'll have hundreds, not dozens, hundreds of different people involved in just one building. Take a 30-story skyscraper as an example. In just a 30-story building, you could have 750 to 1,000 different people involved across 50 different specialists. So the easiest way to think about how complicated this is, is take throwing a party as an example. Let's say you decide to throw a party for 50 people and you tell each of your 50 friends that they have to bring a different food and they can't arrive at the same time. The coordination on that is not going to be easy and that's what it's like to build a skyscraper, which is why it's so complicated. Every little thing you see as part of a building is a different specialist. Concrete, steel, glass, interior walls, exterior walls. So all of those different people have to be coordinated across the lifetime of a project, which lasts for you know 36 to 48 months. Ultimately, it's kind of like going to a restaurant. Whoever's paying the bill gets to make the decision, but they're gonna make that decision based on a couple factors. The first would be, what materials do you like? The second would be, how much do those materials cost because every project has a budget? The third would be, how long will the materials last because you want something that's not gonna require a lot of repairs? And then last but certainly not least is what materials make sense for where you're building the building. So in New York City, you might have different materials needed than in Miami. There's two main ways that this is managed. The first is through 3D modeling. So 3D modeling allows you to simulate what you're gonna use against how you wanna use it. So if I use this specific concrete, is it gonna handle the weight that I expect in the building? The second way is something I think we all expect, but I did not extend, expect the extent of it. So that's testing. So every single material that is used in a building goes through thorough testing before it's actually used. So take the stone that's used on the top of a building. Not all stone is created equal. That specific stone will go through over eight different tests before it can be used. So how is it gonna thaw? How is it gonna shrink? Or is it gonna shrink? How is it gonna handle certain compression? And then once they're actually building a building, they'll test even more. So building windows, for example, get tested in specific facilities where they'll throw cans and other things at them to make sure that they can handle life. <laughs> Next time you're in New York or Miami or maybe even Omaha, I hope you stop and instead of smelling the roses, look up at that building and go, wow, there's a lot of work that went into that. I'll see you next week. <laughs>